Welcome back. Tonight I thought I'd just go through the first parts haul for the B20 project that has no name. Um, if you ever want to know what £600 worth and more of parts looks like, that's it behind me. Ignore the pressure washer, that's a Black Friday purchase for me. So I'll just go quickly through what I've ordered. Okay then, so £600 worth of parts, what have I bought? Well, obviously it was all in the uh, Mini Spares Christmas sale. Um, so I took advantage of that and bought what I could um, that was actually in the sale and parts that I definitely knew I needed. So over here we've got the kit that Mini Spares do of all the later style um, rubber seals. So we've got door seals, a pair of door seals, front and rear windscreens and the finishing strips that go in the windscreens. It doesn't include the little clip that goes over the joints, I'll have to get that separate but that's that's a long way ahead. I also bought uh, the inner wings that we're going to need for both sides because obviously the front's been cut off. I don't know yet where I'm going to need wings as well, it just depends how they were cut off, but we'll wait and see about that. And these are obviously going to need trimming to, to allow clearance for the um, all speed frame. This waving about in my hands here is one of the plastic membranes that goes on the inside of your doors and stops any water and moisture from getting to your door cards. It's a fairly cheap thing but it's, uh, it's an important thing to have. Then over here in the pile on the floor we've got a set of gas adjustables the same as I run on Bumblebee which is there and on Austin. In the brown boxes we've got rear brake drums. I've just gone for the standard uh, spacered steel ones. I figured there's no point in um, splashing out loads of money on super fins and stuff for a car that's just going to be sold. I mean, that's something that the uh, the owner can always upgrade later on if they want to splash the cash. But I didn't think we could justify it. And then in here, I've got all the nuts and bolts that you need to fasten up your shock absorbers to the arms. And the top arms are the top arm pins are in there. The the ones to go through your top arm that you suspend shock absorbers mount to. Uh, then there's also the springs and things for the rear brake shoes. The rear brake shoes are over there. I've got some good quality Mintex ones. I've also got a petrol tank seal there because obviously I knew I was going to need that. And then those boxes there are the rear brake cylinders themselves. I've also se ordered separately the um, little paper gasket that goes between the back plate and the cylinders little square box there I've got one opened on the bonnet it's the brake adjusters at the back and if it'll focus one point to note is that the genuine ones the threaded section is a lot further up on the aftermarket ones it comes further down and the actual wedge adjusters can interfere on the threaded section also the angle of the aftermarket adjusters and this part here aren't quite right and you can have issues with it um, basically wearing funny so I made sure I got the uh, the proper genuine ones from mini spares so that's on my parts haul here on the floor and then over in the corner you can't really see it but over in that corner uh, I've got the hubs um, and I've got what else have we got oh, the back plates that have been blasted and just need cleaning up and assembling basically to mount this lot to the radius arms that are over over here buried at the moment uh, recon radius arms and then it'll make it a fully complete and uh, rolling shell that engine there, you can see, is just another eight port out of my brother's car there that I took out, and it just needs a blasting clean, 
when it's a better day outside because it's been absolutely chucking it down all day so we've not been able to do anything on that and there's a blast and a strip down I'm going to put new water pump um, new oil pump uh, clutch just various bits and pieces all, all, all the seals that you can get at so it's just going for a quick uh, a quick refresh I can't remember if we decided we we're going to take the five-speed box off and do a check on the bearings and replace the bearings as well I'm not entirely sure but we'll, we'll get to that later so perhaps at some point there might be a time lapse of me refreshing that but for the moment it just needs a, a clean off and a pressure washing and all that overspray off the front taking off the gearbox because it's absolutely crudded to hell at the moment with um, crap that was on the engine plus the blasting and it's all just stuck to the engine so um, yeah we should have taken the engine out really but lesson learned so that's it parts haul for the clubby b20 project part one next uh, update on that one will probably be when it comes back from storage into the new workshop and we'll start making it well we'll probably leave it as a non-rolling shell but we'll have to bolt some of the parts up like these are these uh, wings and that to see what else we need before it goes for bodywork and then when it comes back we can make it into a rolling shell with all these parts but in the meantime I can, I can continue with the recon and the build up so it's all ready to bolt on when it does come back from the body shop right that's it for today um, time to go in I may do a bit of cleaning in the workshop later get it ready and clear some space and uh, have a bit of a sort out ready for when that engine's being cleaned up um, but that's it for now and I'll see you on the next one.